How's it going everybody? It's Alex from Need My Fishing Fix. First off, don't forget to click subscribe. It helps me out guys. It helps me create better content for you guys. Um, second off, if you're watching this, most likely you saw it on a Facebook group. Now, due to the nature of Facebook groups, my video is going to show up. Uh, for a little while, you're going to be able to see it, but then it's going to disappear. And that means that nobody else can watch it. This is something that I enjoy doing. And if you're watching this, most likely you enjoy watching this. Help me out by sharing this with your friends. Help me to be able to continue doing these videos. It's not enough just to subscribe. It really helps me to share this. And thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. With that being said, I don't make these videos to uh, just promote carp. That's not why I'm doing it. I promote better science. I'm trying to promote better research. Uh, the bottom line is that we just lump carp into the, uh, they're the most dangerous species in our waterways. And I, again, I'm talking about common carp here, guys. If you know me, you know I'm talking about common carp. I'm not talking about Asian carp. Uh, we just, you know, lump everything that's bad that's happening in our waterways and we just blame it on carp. But the truth of the matter is, you can remove all the carp you want. You're not going to make a dent to the real problems that we have. And that's what these myths are going towards. So let's get started. All right, here we go. Carp follow Hitler and affect game fish populations and therefore must be destroyed. All right, so, <laughs> uh, Inglorious Bastards right there. Let's, uh, let's get going on that. This is absolutely false. Bottom line, just because carp in your lake does not mean that by removing them that you will gain that population in game fish. As, I mean, actually the truth is the opposite will happen. Regardless of how you feel, uh, the removal of the foliage that is caused by um, carp going after their favorite food source, which happens to be dead and decaying matter at the bottom of the lake, um, actually benefits game fish and makes it easier for them to find bait fish. So what really will happen is that you will see a slight decrease in the population of your favorite game fish. Carp are absolutely useless in our waterways and we need to just get rid of them. This is 100% false, and uh, it actually goes back to the previous um, you know, myth that I had talked about, and uh, it also brings up uh, you know, the truth and the true nature of carp being in the United States. So let me explain, okay? In the 1800s, uh, carp were originally introduced to the United States, and we had you know, effectively overfished the populations of our natural resource, our natural fish, uh, from our lakes and streams. So we needed to replace that with, um, you know, a food source. And that was where carp came in. Now they, they were transferred from that place in California all over the United States. And the reason carp were, were used to replace these, uh, the food loss that we had is because of this. Carp lay massive amounts of eggs. These eggs and the fish that hatch from them are actually under massive amounts of predation by uh, bass, crappie, catfish, many of the fish that you love going after and eating. This one's going to be the easiest one to explain, so uh, mirror carp are a genetic defect of common carp. This is absolutely false. Um, actually, mirror carp were bred that way to be easier to be eaten. So I had to do a lot of digging for this last one uh, on the internet. And this one is, oh, by far, this one is the dumbest one I've heard. So let's get to it. Uh, carp cause algae blooms. Now you know what the algae blooms are. They, um, they form around the water and they lower the oxygen levels of the water. Uh, this is 100% false. This myth can be validated uh, by one thing. And that's something amazing that makes uh, carp carp. Carp can live in low oxygenated areas. So the uh, you know with the algae bloom going on and the carp being able to survive through that, you know that I can see how you could you know understand uh, that this is oh this got to be how it is. Sorry, 
bottom line, you can't blame this one on carp. Um, <laughs> there's uh, actually a major factor, and we are part of it, that causes algae blooms. The true cause of algae blooms is actually farming runoff. In our never-ending need to farm and feed uh, our massive population of humans, uh, farms have to produce more in just the same amount of space. I'm talking about cows, I'm talking about grains and fruits and vegetables. It all still has to be produced and this, the same area has to be used. So by over farming and uh, over fertilizing the land, um, you know, it's actually causing this runoff. The same thing goes for cows. Um, through their natural, you know, need to graze, they are actually loosening up the soil, which, um, you know, in turn, when it rains, washes away uh, poop particles, uh, cow manure, to be exact, uh, into the waterways, and that creates low oxygen levels. The same thing for the fertilizer. All right, so it is super hot outside, so I needed to make a change of scenery, so here we are, inside. Um, I promised you guys, I would talk about the uh, the next giveaway. Okay, so uh, as you, some of you guys know, some of you guys have already joined it. Uh, I do have a Facebook group. That, so on the Facebook group, you can ask me questions about carp. Uh, you can ask me questions about catfish or, or really any of your favorite fish, and I can answer them. It's a lot easier for me to do it there. Join the Facebook group. Need my fishing fix. It. It just had to happen, guys. I mean, I've got over a thousand people on Facebook, so you gotta, it's gotta go to the Facebook group at this point. Um, all right, and then last but not least, uh, the giveaway, okay? So with the Facebook group, if you join it, you are automatically entered into the uh, drawing for um, the giveaway, okay? You don't have to communicate with me and be part of the Facebook group. But from now on, all giveaways will be done through my Facebook group. I will mention them on YouTube, but uh, that the giveaway information is going to be on the Facebook group. So, subscribe here so that you can get the information and know that there is going to be a giveaway. And uh, also get yourself onto the Facebook group so that you can be um, you know, more understanding of of how to how to actually win if you like watching these uh, you know these videos please drop a like let me know guys and uh, again like I said before at the beginning of this video please share these videos uh, it helps me out uh, once I get to a thousand subscribers I can start doing live videos I can start um, you know being able to uh, provide better giveaways more often I mean I'm talking um, to multiple people instead of just one um, you know what I can uh, you know what I can do so please guys share this and thanks a lot have a fantastic day